Lori, have you ever played with carbon dioxide gas? No. Well, it's one of the most common gases around the house after nitrogen and oxygen, which are in the air, and it takes very simple home chemicals. Here's the first one that you need. Baking soda? Baking soda, yes. Uh, do you know the chemical name for it? No. Sodium bicarbonate. And it, when you put it in water, it's a base, which is a sort of form of chemical. So you take that and put it in the glass. Okay, about that much? That's about right, yeah. Okay, there it goes. Now, here's the other ingredient that you need. What oh, is it? it's vinegar. Vinegar, <laughs> yes, and that's an acid, another common chemical around the house. So all you have to do to make carbon dioxide gas is pour a little of the vinegar over the top of the baking soda. And I know ahead. what happens when you do that. What? what? How, how do you know? What happened? Because my brother tried it once and it all fizzed up on him. All fizzed. Okay. Go yeah. ahead. Try it. See if you're right. Except you put too much in it. It went right over the top. Well, don't then, don't put too much in it. Is that enough? Well, a little more won't hurt. There. Whoa. Well, oh. There. Now, all those bubbles are filled with that carbon dioxide gas. Now, uh, can you see it? No. So that means what? It means it's invisible. It's invisible, that's right. It's invisible. And also, it has another... Just, now, let's move it back, because I'd like you to light that candle. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now... Take the gas, just the gas now, not the liquid, and pour it right over the flame itself. It went out. Yes. What does, an, what does a candle need to burn? Oxygen. Yeah, from the air. So what did the carbon dioxide do? Smother it. Yeah, in other words, it flowed around the candle flame, didn't let any oxygen get to it, and therefore put it out. So that's why carbon dioxide gas is used in fire extinguishers. Mm. Now you see that um, balance over there with the bags on it? Yeah. Would you bring it over there and put it over here, please? Okay. Oh. It sure is big. Okay. There. Now see, this is a balance. You know how you can put weights on each side and it goes up and down and so yeah. forth? Yeah. So right now it's not in balance. So you see that old battery clip there? Yeah. M move it whatever direction you think to make it, make it balance. Mm. Well, that side's heavier, so let's put it over there. Okay, let's see how you did. See, I put it too over much. too far. Okay, put it back. There. Perfect. Very <laughs> good. Okay, now I'd like you to make some carbon dioxide gas. What do you need? Okay, I need the baking soda. Okay, coming up. Let's see about. We'll put about a, a whole tablespoon in, right? Okay. Gonna have to make an awful lot. Well, right, we're gonna fill up that whole pitcher full of it. The whole pitcher? All right, now what else you need? Vinegar. Let's see. Oopsies. Can't mention. Probably full, right? <laughs> now I'd like you to you know, take and pour just the gas mm. into this bag over here. Wait a minute now. What do you think will happen? Should go down because oopsies. Yeah. Should go down because this weighs more than air. Okay, try it. Uh, don't touch the bag now. Everything is in balance. Okay, hold, hold it a minute now. Okay. Here, let me it's pour it It's moving on me. Well, I'll, pour, I'll, I'll mix some more quickly. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> going down. Yes, it sure is. In fact, you can hear it all fizzing. Yeah, it makes a lot of noise fizzing as all of the gas comes out of solution. So you definitely now know what? That it's heavier. <laughs> yes, carbon dioxide gas is definitely heavier. heavier than air. Okay. Now, you want to take that back and put it over there and then come over here and light this candle. Okay. Now I'll just light this. Here, okay. 
Now pull the candle out of the way, because I'm going to bring this aquarium full of candles over there. Six candles. And we're going to light every single one of them. We'll use yours as a sort of a... All of them? Yeah, we'll light them all. Ouch. Hot wax drop on your finger? Yeah. We'll hold it straight up, then it won't do that. There we go. One more. There. You can, here, I'll, in fact, I'll put yours in there, too, here. Okay. Now, Lori, what we're going to do is make some carbon dioxide gas. Again, you know what we need? We need the baking soda. Yeah, and vinegar. So pour some vinegar just in the bottom of the aquarium. Will the vinegar put out the candles? I don't think so. Not if you don't splash on them, right? Okay. Put a nice layer of vinegar all over the bottom of the aquarium. Keep going. Splashing. A little more. More, more, more. A little more. There you go. There. Now just sprinkle this on. Right. It and fizz. now, but first tell me what's going to happen. Should put out the flames. Yes, but which but one is going did. out first? I'd say the little blue one right Why? there. Why? Because it's the smallest. Is it the smallest or the shortest? The shortest. And what's that got to do with it? Why should that go out first? Well, because the air would be on here, on here, right? Yeah. And then the carbon dioxide would be down low, down below, so it would smother the shorter ones first. That's right. So, so sprinkle some over there, just like you're sprinkling powdered sugar, and try not to hit the candles, okay? okay. It doesn't make any difference if you do, just so you don't put them out. Okay. Sprinkle it all over. There you go. Hey, look what happened to the... It's already out. Yeah, that one's out already. What should be the next one? The red, <laughs> the red one, one and then the next? green one. This green one on this side? Yeah, that's okay, small one. Okay, keep sprinkling. There it goes. There it goes. In fact, I'll add a little vinegar, too. She's using a lot of vin baking soda. <laughs> well, it's not expensive, so you can do this kind of thing. The vinegar is not expensive, either. There goes the white one. That's more by the green one. Okay, so now, now hold, hold, be, be a real quiet one, so we don't, because while the gas is heavier than air, it's invisible, so we can't quite see what's happening to it. If you make a lot of disturbances, you could sort of push it out of the aquarium. So now we should be real quiet and see if we can get the last tall green candle out. It's a lot. <laughs> Used up almost yep, the whole there, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Ha-ha. Ah. Finally. Okay, so what have you found out about carbon dioxide gas? Well, it puts out flames, mm -hmm, as we just saw, like right, smothering we, them. Right. And it's heavier than air. Yeah. How do you make it? You put baking soda and vinegar. And the bubbles that come up are full of carbon dioxide gas. Right. Very good. You'll make a good fireman someday. You can put out fires very well. Yeah, I think so.